of the 13 million cubic meters of material which had formed the dome approximately mm -hmm. in the volume mm -hmm. which has been blown away and, and new material is also coming up from in the volcano and uh, for, fortunately a lot of the material has gone to the sea but a lot is here and a lot I was just talking to Mia Motley mm -hmm. of Barbados and a lot has reached Barbados mm -hmm. um, and we don't know how long this spewing is going to take place. The, 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 the seismologists don't know, in fact, what the work they're doing. Mm -hmm. They're collecting samples. And through their testing, they're going to be able to give us some indication as to what do they think. Of course, it's not a precise science when you're doing these, um, the, these uh, prognoses. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, so that's so we we uh, the, this cleaning up is going to be massive, as you can see already. This is not. Remember this. The weight of this and the nature of this. Mm -hmm. National houses already, you know, mm -hmm. crashing the roofs, crashing the the windows and doors. They're getting in, getting inside of the the the, the, the houses. It's a serious, it's a serious, it's a very serious problem. And the, cl the cleaning up of this alone is going to be massive. This will continue in this kind of a way and been advised over the next few days, maybe weeks. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and we don't, we don't know what, what is the extent of the, the size of the magma chamber and all of that. And, but scientists would advise us. Him, I've been speaking to some folks from the international media and what a lot of them seems to be asking is how is the international community responding? Have you been receiving what? Do you think they can do more? What is, what is the, the I, I, it's, it's, it's early days in terms of, of um, providing relief on a number of Caribbean countries have already um, been mobilized and providing relief. We know the Barbados Coast Guard came, I understand. Um, Trinidad is sending stuff. On, on, on um, Tuesday, a vessel is coming up with, 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 with um, supplies from Guyana, President of Guyana, and I just spoke. On Monday, a vessel coming up from Venezuela. Um, we have been in touch with the World Bank, we are in touch with the UN system, we are in touch with the Americans, we are in touch with the British, we are in touch through diplomatic channels with the, the Canadians too. Um, I spoke to the people from the US Southern Command, which is a very important resource. Yesterday morning I had a discussion at 7 o'clock, our time, with the Foreign Minister of the Republic of China, Taiwan, Joseph Wu because I wanted to speak to them about, I set the appointment to speak to them about their train crash. But in the meantime, we had our challenges, so we spoke about both things. Mm -hmm. And we've seen commitments for reconstruction, rehabilitation, and so on. Mm -hmm. So we, 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 you know, pouring in the region has been, has, has been splendid. Kafa has been working well. Sidema mm -hmm. has been working well. I just spoke to, to Liz, who is the head of Sidema. Um, the RSS, I spoke to Captain Sholan, uh, the CARICOM Secretariat, the OECS Secretariat, the various governments. We, 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 are, we, are, doing it, we are doing the coordination. And um, I'm doing it on the road, uh, in between doing yeah. ABC and these things. This yeah. is how you got to do it. And, and I, must, I must commend him uh, for the, the amount of energy and enthusiasm he has been showing, even for his age. I don't think I have. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll tell you, know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that brain inside there, which you have, got as much energy, that young brain, yeah. as, as this older computer. <laughs> I don't know. This is a, this is a, this is a good model, you know. This no, is a good model. I, I must say that. I must say that, folks. Um, also, um, I want to add a, a few more questions before I complete because there are no... Uh, yeah, no. Wait, 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 William. No, 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 no.
Hello, you're overloaded, you know, traffic will charge you. All right, for the benefit of our viewers, we're still uh, here in Georgetown. PM Gunsar just uh, spent a moment for a reporter. And uh, here is a vehicle laden with some, some pigs and other produce. And uh, PM Gunsar is just having a discussion with them. You know, Sister Kwame, you know, Anisha Kwame right there, Mason Hole. She tells me, William. Um, when do, I said William, William Charles. Yeah. See, see you with a knapsack on the back. I said, but why didn't you stop him? Yes. So I, 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 I actually, I said, but why didn't stop William going? Where are you all coming from? We didn't know you were coming. I hear you there. Where are you heading? Where? Yeah, so we just came up to see the animals, and everything. Okay. Let them loose. All right. You know they tell me. They tell me the why, ash. Why, why are you taking the pigs down? The ash overwhelm you. He has somebody who can take it, care of them. It bury you. You couldn't breathe okay. and so on. Security and standpoint. standpoint. Okay, my brother. All the best. Well, 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 Okay. Oh, no. All right. And what's, what's this? Is there water up here? This has been filled already before. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Well done. I'm very glad. Good man. All right. They're going to take you by Thomas Sander. Yes, yes. Because you got plenty of people there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, man. God bless you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Yeah, love you. Yeah, respect, respect. All right, man. Stay yeah. good. We will see you. We will see you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Yes. Okay. All right, man. All right, comrade. Now, you notice you, cannot, you, cannot, you can't even see the number plate on that vehicle. Tell her you see. I just received, I received a report of. You're not dead, you're not dead. You're very much alive. You're not, the folks, there's a correction that William Charles, Charles is not dead. William Charles is very much alive. He's very much alive. I just want to correct. Well, we see that. So, um, we have to wrap up because of the. And, and Gao, Gao is also not we, dead. We, we know that. Okay, um, PM, to wrap up, what would you say to the nation? You look good, man. What would you say to the persons who are still in the red zone, orange zone areas who don't want to leave? Well, certainly in the red zone. If you haven't left by now, <laughs> well, I don't know what is going on inside of your head. I understand there's some. I'm trying to get the Coast Guard commander. You can get the Coast Guard commander to meet us because there's some persons, so I, I understand, who are being taken from where we had that up to this time. People are still there. Yeah, I just spoke with Kerry and she said they were on their way there to try and move some people out. And, um, well, in this area, um, some from George, some would have moved, but some would remain. You, you know what I mean? And they have to assess the level of the risk. But I will say, if you have any doubt at all, move out. And in the, you're in the red zone, you should move out. When you're in the adjoining zone, a lot of people have moved out of Byron. Can I ask one more question, folks? Just one more question. Um, you have been Prime Minister five consecutive terms. You have seen the construction and the operation of the single biggest project since... Since... Uh, Congress and Settlement. All right, I was to say that. <laughs> Let me just ask you something. Hey, Commander. All, all any remaining evacuation? We're just, we just yeah. wrapping up a fork, so yeah. as you can see, the Prime Minister hey, is here. You, you know how many last you have? A delegation, <laughs> a delegation from the media. But you took out some yesterday? Um, Alright, this is the main stretch in Georgetown. Uh, there's a vehicle in the distance there making a, a turn. But the entire road, well, all over, just simple, ash. simply ash. 60. Well, you must tell me. Tell me. <laughs> this is good. Tell me, tell me, tell me. They have to be careful with dust with his eyes too. Yeah, yes. 
So I was talking about the biggest project that has been constructed and operated since, yes. you know, uh, we come and, and so forth. Um, how does this experience rate, in your opinion? Every, every challenge which you meet is of a different kind in its specificity. But they all have certain general features of how to qualifies problems and uh, address them, so the organization of things in place, and apply your heart to wisdom. And your family, everything is okay with the family and so forth? Praise God. So, how folks you have heard if you're from the Prime Minister? Council All right, so that's Prime Minister Dr. Ralph Gonzalez uh, taking time out to, to speak with uh, some members of the press present here this afternoon in a dark Georgetown. We just came from Rabaka, and mind you, that is also dark in that area. So, and then back to the vehicle. That's the API's vehicle. And look it down there. Um, excuse me, sir. Um, you're supposed to have a number plate attached. I'm not seeing your number plate. Hmm. This is another vehicle coming in the distance there. This is my vehicle. There is a number there. You can possibly make out the number. But, and we're hearing yet another rumble. I don't know if you're hearing that, but there's a significant rumble there and uh, with that back into the vehicle <laughs> 